All right, our home play for tonight is on page 245 only. Um, shouldn't take you more than, I don't know, two hours. It's only four problems. <laughs> and you're like, what? <laughs> well, I'm talking about to those that uh, go and take a nap first. Anyways, page 245. Our objective for today can transform and write equations of cubic functions. I can transform and write equations of cubic, cubic functions. So we're still on cubic functions. Today we're going to finish with this. Yesterday we focused on what? Transforming. So today we're focusing on writing the equation, yes. And uh, let's see. Function. Now by now you should know the definition without looking at your notes. So you never the definition of a function. All right, let's see. How about uh, Roman Aguirre? A relation that has one input for every output. Let's see. Bam, that is correct. So we don't need a fair model. We got this, yes? From there, uh, I said we're going to be looking at cubic functions again. Let me give you the general rule. And we wrote the general rule. You guys remember that? And this is the rule that we started with when we started with transformations. From there, we went to uh, this one, yes? Uh, we started with this. We revisited domain and range, yes, and point uh, behavior, and so on and so forth. From there, we went to graphing. Some more, some more, some more, and some more. We good? Yeah. So today, um, equal with this. So today, just to be clear, look up to the screen, writing utensils down. If I was to give you this to graph by now in your noodle, it's automatic. The table, you already know the values without even doing the computation. Is that correct? So you near the values of the table, please. Yeah, we got this. Negative 2, negative 8, negative 1, negative 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 8. And the graph looks like this. But of course today I'm not giving you those values. Today I'm giving you values A, B, H, and K. Which means I need to replace this with the actual gener generic form. Ready? Here it goes. There it is. G of X equals A times 1 over B, X minus H cubed plus K. This is the general form of a cubic function. This is the same as this. Do you guys see it? This is the same as this. However, this one has which values? H, K, A, and B. What would be the value for H here? Zero, because there's no H. How about K? Zero, because there's no K. How about B? 1, because 1 over 1 is 1, and it's invisible. How about A? 1 also. So that means you guys can't see this. All right? So what does this look like without any numerical values? Here it goes. Here's the cubic function. What is my vertex? HK. A point, the point above the vertex is this. B plus H, comma, and A plus K. That's this point. That means a point below the vertex would be negative B plus H and negative A plus K. Why negative? Because they're below the vertex, which we assume it's what? Negative. Questions, comments, that's right there. They're like, oh, no, we love this. All right, copy that, please. Mm -hmm. 
You have your color pens. If you have them, make sure you uh, match that. I'm going to give you a couple of problems with the same color so that you guys can see what goes with what. But after that, I'm going to change the colors. Copy that. All right. So are we there? Okay. So this next one I'm going to do because they're asking us to write an equation with a given function. But right now I just gave you all the components so that you can see what goes where and what comes from where. So here it goes. Even though it might look a little bit uh, challenging, it's not. Uh, did I have this value here? Yes? Okay. There it goes. Writing utensils now, look up to the screen. It says, write the cubic function given the graph. Does that look familiar? Yes. Does that look familiar? Yes. Does that look familiar? Yes. And does that look familiar? Yes. Okay. So here it goes. Writing utensils down, I'll let you copy in a little bit. So first things first, they want me to write a function. So what is my general rule? g of x equals a parentheses 1 over bx minus h cubed plus k. All right, what information can we substitute from the beginning? h and k. What is h? 0. What is k? 4. Which means I can bring down the parentheses cubed, the plus, the minus, the x. That leaves me with? 1 over blank, and blank outside equals to g of x. Because all we need is what? a and b. Are we there so far? All right, so now check this out. What do we know about this point? That to get a point right above the vertex, the value was what? b plus h for this, and a plus k for this. How does that help me, Mr. Q? Well, let me show you. This corresponds to this one. Is that correct? That means b plus h equals 1. What is h? 0. So that means I end up with what? b plus 0 equals 1. So what is b? 1. That goes right there. So what does that mean with the other one? That this matches that. So what do I have? A plus K equals 5. And instead of K, what do I write? 4. So I end up with A plus 4 equals 5. Minus 4 minus 4. A equals 1. And that goes right there. All I'm left is simplify. G of X equals, do I need to write the 1? Do I need to write 1 over 1? Do I need to write the 0? So what do I have left? x to the what? m plus 4. Copy this first. Give you about 30 seconds and then I'll show you that with the notes. Have those already? Okay, here go the notes. There it is. Copy that. Questions for the process. You're like, Mr. Q, this is a piece of cake. Right? Am I right? Am I right? So, so far, if you think about it, if we reflect back throughout the year, the one and only one that I think has been challenging to us is a matrix. If you really think about it. The second one that was challenging was probably the different transformations. But other than that, it's a piece of cake or lemon crisp bar 
Damn. All right, so let's do one together. Because <laughs> I just saved my finger. Let's do one together. Copy this one, example one Q. You don't have to copy the instructions anymore. They're the same ones, but copy the function. Here's the function. Oh, sorry. My bad, Allie. Yes, Allie Tiernan. She's looking at me like, my goodness. Uh, so we have our function and the vertex 3, negative 5, point above the vertex 4, negative 4, and the point below the vertex 2, negative 6. We're going to do this one together. What is step 1, everyone? Write your equation. C of x equals a, parentheses, 1 over b, x minus h, parentheses, cubed, plus k. What would be the second thing you do, Miguel? That is correct. Substitute h and k. What is h? 3, k, negative 5. Bring everything else down. Parentheses, cubed, minus x, 1 over blank, parentheses, blank, equals c of x. So now we just need to worry about A and B. Okay. For the point above the vertex, what were the values when we didn't have any numbers? It was what? B plus H comma and A plus K. Why do we need that there? Because now we can match B plus H with 4 and a plus k with negative 4. Therefore, see what I did there? I'm going to go this way. For this one, is b plus h equals to 4. However, what is h? 3. So we end up with b plus 3 equals 4 minus 3. b equals 1. That goes right there. All right. This one. A plus K equals negative 4. However, K is negative 5. A minus 5 equals negative 4 plus 5 plus 5. A equals 1. And that goes right there. Let's simplify the crack, I mean the function. We got g of x. Do we need to write the 1 for a? No. How about the 1 for b? No, because that's still 1. What does that leave us with? x. What else? Minus 3. Q. Minus 5. Can we have a single talk with this? Okay. I want to send you one so you can do one by yourself. Yes? That one was what? One cube? Copy that one on your screen. Write the cubic function given the graph. Example one super cube. Find me the function. And lock your toolbar, and you have, what do you want, one minute? No, do it on paper, and then just take a picture. Lock your toolbar and send it in, one minute. Copy that and go. There it is, correct answer on your screen. Answer, function is g of x equals 2 times x plus 5 cubed plus 3. Some of you left it as 2, I mean, you left it as x minus 5. Be careful because remember the, the function, the general form already has a negative in there. Yes? Double check your work. And have you got that? Okay. All right. 
Now, who noticed, by the way, look up to the screen, who noticed that we've been using mostly the point above the vertex? Yeah, because it's what? B plus H and A plus K. So for this next one, which one am I going to ask you to use? The bottom one. So what would be this one? Negative B plus H and negative A plus K. That's the only difference. But the value should be, we should be able to get the same uh, equation at the end. Okay? All right, here we go. There it is. Copy that one. Example 1 mega cube. For this one, I want you to use the point below the vertex. The point below the vertex and find me the uh, function. Let me forward the screen. Lock the toolbar. Copy and once you're done, send it. In. Go. All right. Are we due? Is it great? Yes, Mr. Q. Whoa. As soon as we threw in like the negative, some of you just like went all over the place. <laughs> Here goes the correct answer on your screen. Let me get a legible one. Here it is. There you go. And have you got that? Yeah. G of x equals 4 times 1 half x minus 6 cubed minus 7. And once again, we use the, di the different point, the point below the vertex. Okay? All right. Let's crank it up a notch, yeah? Let's go and do one of these. That one. Example one, Shazam Q. There it is. And on this occasion, you can use uh, any of the points, the point above the vertex or the point below the vertex. It's up to you. Copy that and go. So, so far, I wrote my equation. Substituted the vertex, 1 and negative 1. And what am I missing? 1 over B. I'm going to leave the blank there and the blank for A. Which one did you guys use? The bottom one or the top one? Top. So then I write B plus H for that one and A plus K for that one. Whoa, what's going on? Oh, it's over? Okay. B plus H equals 5. What is H? 1, B plus 1 equals 5, minus 1, minus 1, B equals 4, that goes right there, all right, this one, A plus K equals 0, K is negative 1, plus 1, plus 1, A equals 1, that goes right there, do we need to write the 1, no, G of X equals, parentheses, 1 fourth X minus 1, Q minus 1. And have you got that? All right. We got this, yeah? Home play, once again, is on page 245. Um, make sure you make it a family math night. Have a good one, guys. Enjoy your home play. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.